I try to be really thoughtful about when I'm designing something to make sure that it is really unique and really just coming from a place of creativity. My name is Amber Ason and I create handmade jewelry as part of my business, Wild Blue Yonder. I think blue is my favorite color because the color of water and the sky. The water being this amazing life-giving element and the sky as sort of this idea of possibilities or, you know, wide horizons. So those two things are a big part of, particularly why I use the phrase Wild Blue Yonder as my company name. Kind of this idea of looking beyond or pushing yourself farther than you can even see but wild being kind of exciting and um, Canadiana uh, and full of possibilities. My childhood was full of uh, a lot of camping, a lot of outdoors. Um, my parents always took us camping in the summertime. We loved to get outside. Um, my mom is very creative. She was always painting, she was always sewing, crafting something. So uh, I also spent a lot of time just, just making things. And I think that those are the two real um, important factors that kind of culminated to what is my practice now, which is to make things out of bits of nature. With art, it's a hard balance to make a living with it and still feel like you're being completely true to your own creative impulse. So for me, a big piece of success with that is finding a balance between those two things. Find what sells, find what works, find what people are interested in purchasing, because you need that to fuel everything else. It's nerve-wracking in lots of ways, but I, I have, and this is not characteristic for me, I'm usually really, really nervous about a lot of things, but I have sort of this sense of uh, confidence in it and calmness about it. Even though it's not turning a huge profit just yet, I have a lot of faith that it will grow, and I always just get so much lovely interaction with customers that they'll be reminded of a time that they went camping and saw a piece like like what I have um, or a piece of I don't know just nature that reminds them of something that they've seen before I've had kids come up and be like oh it looks like the sky or something like that and that just always is so uh, it's a huge win for me because that's kind of the idea is that I'm creating these tiny little scenes and so when especially little kids see that I, I get really excited about that the part about nature that really uh, excites me is the really small details. I'm really interested in um, looking really closely at small bits of bark or wood or lichen or moss uh, because I think that there's just a lot that's overlooked very easily in those really small details. So literally wherever I go, I'm always looking for interesting little fragments. Each little piece kind of has its own story and, um, and is very special, I think, that way. My stuff is really process work, you know, it, each, each single piece goes through like 12 steps to completeness. A lot of sanding and then re-pouring and then sanding and finishing. So I think that that is a good exercise in being methodical and kind of structured. And in some, some stages of it are really mindless and they allow my mind to just wander a little bit and reflect on things, reflect on happenings or relationships or whatever. But I wouldn't say that it's that mindless because the process is pretty exciting. <laughs> in some ways I think of it as work, uh, in that it's what I'm doing full time, it's what I'm doing every day, it's what I am uh, really driven to do every day, but I, I really love it uh, and I love that I get to spend so much time on it. So, so yeah, it's work, um, but I'm so, I don't know, thankful for, for being able to find work that I really love. I do think that we are innately creative, all people, no matter how much we uh, often believe that we aren't. We're designed with innate creativity and we unlearn it so quickly. So I think that the, the takeaway from that is just, just to explore it. Take a class, check out an artist friend that has a practice, go to their studio, uh, watch YouTube videos, I don't know. There's so many ways that you can um, experience creativity or, or start to dabble in it even if you don't have the confidence to really do it. Uh, and I really think that that expression is, is healthy and important for, for your own being. Are you happy? Like, Yeah, I am happy. Very happy, yeah. The most special is when I'm out of the city, up north, where there's literally nobody around, and there's not many people that have walked that path. That feels really special to me because, I don't know, that's Canada, that's our country. There's so much untouched wilderness. It would take a lifetime of lifetimes to get to it all. And I think that's 
part of what keeps me going through that um, kind of quest for wilderness because there's always something new to see.